everybody out to the Des Clark. Alex Brown. And nondescript white guy. You could have been anywhere in the world, but we appreciate you being here with us. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for tuning in yes. to the Des Clark. Alex Brown. And nondescript white guy. Show. Yes, sir. Here live at the Tilted Kill in Roselle. Give it up for all the Tilted Kill in Roselle, everybody. All right. Nice. First time being here. Hey, love the venue. Nice, big, spacious venue. If you're in the area, you need to come on down to the Tilted Kilt. Like I said, we're here in Roselle at 360 Lake Street. 1360 Lake Street. 1360, 1360 Lake Street. 13. 13. Let me, I'm sorry. That's okay. But that's, that's why okay. I got you guys here. That's why you got GPS, we'll, we'll, we'll my friend. But you, know, but you know what? We also got somebody else here. Today. Yeah, you do. Somebody a little more important. A little more important? Yes. How is anybody actually, more important than you two? Because he, he actually played this year. He actually played. Oh, he actually played? Yes, he actually oh, played. Oh, I hate we, when we, people play. We sat, we sat with you and watched all year. He signed a new deal, too. I mean, he's a... It's a five-year deal. He has deal. new money, too. New money. New money. So he's maybe got some good money. money. So, maybe yes. we can, so maybe we can get along. Maybe we can get a little bit. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> and we're talking about none other than the punter for your Chicago Bears, Mr. Mr. Adam Polish. Big round of applause, Mr. Adam Polish. Adam, how you doing, man? I'm good. Thanks for having me, guys. Oh, uh, thank you for coming out. Adam, I, I'm sorry. I, I coming over here. I see you were. You finished uh, at University of Maryland. My brother went to University of Maryland as well. And I wanted to ask you, were you a part of that team in '01? No. no. That we beat the crap out of <laughs> the Florida Gators. <laughs> were you a part of that team in the Orange Bowl? I. Nope. Oh, okay. I, I don't think Adam's that old. Younger than that. I, I don't oh, think Adam's as younger? old as you are. A lot Asian younger. Man. I know, but he could have yeah. been a freshman. <laughs> you know. I was 03 was my first year. 03 was. So oh, you young. Oh, yeah, I was. Oh, I was man. Out of college a few but years. Yeah, Desmond was then, a 10 year vet by then. Stop no. Oh, no? okay. Stop my bad. It. My bad. Maybe that's too much. <laughs> so I was. Just so you know, Adam Polish with us on the show. If you want to catch him on Twitter and follow him, uh, keep up to date. It's Adam Podlish zero eight. Adam Polish zero eight on Twitter. Check it out. Check it out. So Adam, we know we got you here on the show today. This is your first year being a Chicago Bear. Kind of tell us how was it being a Chicago Bear this year? Putting up here in the cold, the big city, coming from Jacksonville. What was your experience like being a Chicago Bear? You know, it was a blast. You know, I, uh, you know, being down in Jacksonville, obviously the market's a little bit different than Chicago. There's yes, so because you it. actually have people come to the game. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, really. We yeah. I mean, when they said 90% of the, the, the stadium is sold to season ticket holders, I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, usually most of the stadiums sold to tarps in Jacksonville, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> tarps. Well, well, actually, tarps. in Jacksonville, we, we have somebody who just bought the team that you're pretty good. Yeah, Shad Khan. Yeah, you went Shad to Khan, IU, new right? owner. Yeah, he's probably pretty well known in the area, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, he uh, actually came. He's from Champaign. He went to the University of Illinois. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I heard a lot mm. of good things about him. But yeah, I mean, this season's been this first season's been great. Obviously, the cold is a little different than Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know, I adjusted, and I had a good cast of characters helping me out. Obviously, the special teams unit and the punt unit in particular. Chicago is amazing and helped me out a whole lot. Um, and it was a, it was a lot of fun being a part of you know the environment and you know the fans were great. Talk talk about this a little bit because this was you, you know we all about the money. We we want to talk about this new deal. I'm telling you, did, five now, years. Now what I want to know is, did you get your coach resigned or did your coach get you resigned, or did it work kind of mutually? Well, uh, are you talking about Tobe? Yes. Or, oh, you well, got a lot of money to you I and mean, to Tobe. I now mean, granted, granted, we did have a good year with the punt team this year, but I mean, what Tobe's done, I mean, he's been there for what's this? Is eight, eight years? Eight years. Eight, eight years. years, and he's been, you know, in the top. I mean, I think he's averaged being in top five, top six special teams mm -hmm. unit every five year. out of the last six years, actually. A exactly. Yeah. So I mean, I, I. I didn't get him paid. I might have, I might have contributed to it right, a little right. bit, but I mean that's the one. Is, year is that, that part of the about. reason you right. came to Chicago? Was a guy like Dave Tobe? That was definitely a part of it. I mean, I know between him and having Kevin O'Day, who's he's uh, had a couple Pro Bowl players uh -huh. that's under his, his tutelage. One being Neil Rackers, the other being Robbie. Uh, when you know when uh, Kevin was here before, I wanted to be a part of that. Not to mention that you know with Lovey being defensive minded and accenting on special teams uh, mm -hmm. we got a lot of great players here they stress it um, I've always told everybody when we come out to the game and they announce the special teams players before the game I'm like are you that's serious big. like that right that's, right that's, that's valuing special teams right there did, you it, know, did it factor did it factor in your decision to come to Chicago the weather did the weather <laughs> because I mean in Jacksonville is it's warm most of the time all the time and it gets hot like during the summer but here 
does it give you a little more respect to a Maynard who had a kick here in the cold or guys that kick in the cold when the ball is so hard when it's zero degrees outside? Yeah, absolutely. I think you, I mean, I've always had a lot of respect for the guys that can punt well in the elements and do well mm. for a long period of time. I think, I think I'll go on record and say I think Maynard's one of the best punters in the history of the NFL mm. because of what he did first with New York and then with Chicago mm. being here for you know nine or ten years. That is really impressive to 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 be consistent in tough weather. Um, and uh, yeah, I think being here and playing well here, I think mm -hmm. it means more to the rest of the NFL and the rest of the kickers and punters out because they know, like, they whenever whenever we have a team come up here, they're like, yeah. man, I got respect for what you guys do because this is really bad. It's brutal, <laughs> man. It's yeah. brutal. Absolutely. And we're live here at the Tilted Kill in Roselle. If you want to get in on the conversation, you could dial us at 773-382-8732. Continue on with the conversation with Mr. Adam Polish, uh, the first-year kicker here with the Chicago Bears, just signed a new five-year deal, so you'll be around for a long time. But tell me this. Can we expect more of this 40-yard average that you had this year now? We've been a part of the Chicago Bear team, right. and we know how much emphasis is put on this special team. Right. Every year we try to get to that 40-yard net average, but this is the first year that we actually got that 40-yard net average. What do you attribute that to besides me. You, you being me. a great partner? Me. <laughs> well, me. I mean, who? Are you going to say me? <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to hear me talk about me. I mean, yeah, I, I you know, I had – I had a fairly decent season punt wise. There's a lot of things I could have done better, but I think, you know, I don't like to get complacent on a season ever, mm -hmm. no matter how good it was. I thought I played pretty well, but like I said before, the special teams unit and the punt unit that helped out the coverage. I mean, we were number two in punt return average, right. uh, which with directional punting that helps, but at the same time, these guys got to make tackles and keep them you know, from running the ball back. And they did a really great job of that. Between that and the schemes that we have through Tobe, and uh, O'Day, I mean, we uh, it was a pretty stout punt team. I agree, and it's good to hear. It's good to hear you say that, and I'm glad that they actually give the special teams its due around here, because yeah. I mean, being at another place, I mean, they don't always get the same respect. Or yeah, how, how was that yeah. in New Orleans? Since you, you know what it was, there. you know what in New Orleans it was pretty good because they actually moved for the the punter they have now. He's a young kid. Um, they actually moved up in the draft to get him. But I think I'm they just saying, did they put that emphasis on special teams oh, like yeah. they did here in Chicago? Oh, yeah. uh, well, uh, what's the difference? So why does a team like New Orleans not rank as high as Chicago does on a regular basis? And we'll have Rasheed Davis on in about an hour, and he can talk to this in Detroit as well. But what's the difference? Alex, you have a unique perspective in that you were with the Bears, saw the emphasis they put on special teams, and then you go to a team like New Orleans who just – hasn't had that same reputation well, for that. Well, because the the mindset is, I mean, the mindset is different. You can put emphasis on yeah. it, but if I you agree. got you got a team like the defense isn't stress. It's stress, but it's not stress like it should be because here, if you give up 30 points, you're probably going to lose. <laughs> if you give up 30 points against Drew Brees, you still could yeah, win. Yeah, sure yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. and that's like kind of the mindset. Like you understand, if you give up a touchdown, it's like, you know what, that sucks. We gave up a touchdown, but... Drew's going to get it back. I, I totally agree. Not, not everywhere is like that, especially when we were here. We knew that if we gave up a touchdown, um, like, yeah, we yeah. might not get yeah. it back. <laughs> so. yeah. well, I, mean, I mean, Adam, I mean, you were a free agent after this last season coming out of Jacksonville. And I'm sure that once the NFL issues got taken care of, your phone was, was busy. You probably had a lot of options. Why Chicago? Well, I, I mean, mean, was it all money? Let's be honest. Was it all money? No, actually, it wasn't. <laughs> you can um, tell us. Yeah. You know, I mean, obviously, us. it plays a part in it. <laughs> Y'all want, want Adam to keep it real, right? Y'all want to keep it real, Come on, Adam. Honest, a little bit had to do with that. But, I mean, what we've just been talking about, how much we stress special teams. Like, I, I'm mm -hmm. not in it just to get one deal and then get out. Like, I want to have another good deal. And if I'm going to be a part of a team that doesn't stress special teams, it's going to hurt my chances of staying in this league because it's going to mm -hmm. make me look worse. I want, I, want, I want a synergistic effort between me and my punt unit. I don't want to be kicking great balls and have a team that doesn't really value special teams. The next thing you know, we've got punts returned for touchdowns and mm -hmm. punts blocked, you know, things like that that I might not necessarily be able to control. Right. Um, but the team here is all on board, and that's yeah. what I love about it. How, how much does a, the presence of a, an amazing player and Pro Bowl you know, guy this year like Corey Graham play into your decision to come? Oh, it's great. I mean, you want to have guys that are good leaders, that are impact players, guys that never miss tackles like Corey. It's amazing watching him play. You know, I mean, he'll come up to me on the sideline and be like, they're not blocking me. They're not going to hold me. 
um, punt it over my side, I'll make a tackle. Just do it. I got it. And it's and great it to see a guy with that kind of, Oh, and it happens. It's great to see a guy with that amount of confidence. So, so he comes there. to you on the sidelines and says, you know what, they're not stopping me. Punt my direction. Yeah. He, he comes up to you? Oh, he said, hey, I'm getting doubled, but they're not they're not keeping me from getting down there. I'm so go ahead and do that, regardless if I'm double or not. I'm like you on this. Like, I I played for nine years in the league, and that surprises me that yeah, he I, would. That I he never would come up that, and yeah. say that. That's, oh, yeah. And we had some good players on, yeah, on the special did. teams. So we did. And through the years, we've always confidence. had some good players yeah, on yeah. special teams. Yeah. Pretty good. Another good player that went, he actually went down this year is, is Pat Manley. And with him Ooh. going down, luckily you didn't have me as a long snapper. Um, <laughs> and, uh, don't sell yourself did, short. Did, yeah. I, For those of you who don't know, Patrick Manley. I've heard some stories. Yeah, yeah. they, they, they yeah. named me not the long snapper, but the medium snapper because it didn't quite get all the way back. Quite get there. Like the utility, it didn't like, quite get like backup it. holder, backup snapper. Yeah. Yeah. It was a, it's a one hop, one hop Des. Is that what you called it? One hop Des? Yes, one, one hop. hop and, but the thing was, on, on, on my um, long snaps to the punter, I was pretty good. It was the snaps to the for the field, the goal. field goal. Right, I was just... I, Pat went down in one preseason mm -hmm. game, and I was snapping the ball right, left, bouncing it, throwing over over so the head. So you you were snapping like Alex shot the puck last night. <laughs> Ooh, wow! <laughs> Did anybody see this. Alex shoot the puck I at the Hawks game this. last night? Yes. yes. He ain't uh, nobody. Anything. Well, we're we're gonna post it on Facebook. <laughs> oh, on. It already is no, up there. It, oh, it's, it's already, already posted on, on Facebook. Facebook. It's on YouTube, and I got like a Face million hits. Seven. Minus nine hundred and ninety-nine thousand. Hey, by the way, I'm doing that tomorrow, too. Oh, are you? I heard about well, that. I, I hope you miss all of them, honestly. Uh, okay, well, I'll do my best. Because it, yeah. So everybody's coming into the Hawks game tomorrow night. Adam Polish, between yeah. second and third periods, will be doing the shoot the puck. You could get some good culture from this guy over here. I'll actually, I'll make sure not to watch the video, not get any bad habits. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty. It was pretty oh, horrendous. Tell, tell us what the loss of, of a Pat Manley, because really, I, I think that most other specialists don't get to do that they need to for the importance that they play on the team, and to have a guy like Pat Manley go down. Um, mm -hmm. Explain the importance of, of a guy like Pat. You never realize how important a long snapper is, especially a guy like Pat Manley is, when you're going into December in Chicago as a long snapper. And granted, we had Chris Massey come in who's a solid veteran and he did a great job, mm -hmm. but what Pat has done consistently here for 55 years as a long snapper <laughs> right. is unbelievable. Years. <laughs> and I know I'm joking, but I'm serious. Uh -huh. and, and I think you'll talk around the league and everybody, and you'll ask, who do you have more, the most respect for as a long snapper? And I'd say almost everybody would say Pat Manley. He's, I mean, I, I think that he's the best long snapper in the history of the league, and that's one of the big reasons why I came here as well. I wanted a guy that's going to get the ball back to me. Uh, you know, you don't right have to jump for it, and you don't have to reach over here and reach and when, over here. And when the wind's gusting in the 30s and it's, you know, 30 yeah. degrees outside, 20 degrees outside, you want to make sure that you got a guy that's going to be able to get yeah, it. Yeah, who was the, the Giants long snapper the last time the Giants played the Niners in the playoff game? Do you remember that? And no. Like two or three years ago or whatever it was. When the, oh. And he snapped it this way and that way, and then they wound up having to throw it on the... You don't remember that? The last time the Niners played the Giants in the playoffs. Does anybody remember? I cannot remember that. And that was the last time, because they cut him right after that. Wow. Oh, well, that's probably why we don't remember him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, it was big news. It was big news in New York. But if it, it, the, it was a huge playoff game, and, and, I mean, there was a penalty that should have been called, actually, on the Niners, because, like, the holder picked it up and threw and tackled the lineman. And mm. just, don't remember It was a crazy play that cost the Giants the playoffs. That's a good thing, though. When, you, when you're a long snapper, like, people rarely know his name or your center. They don't know his name unless you make the Pro Bowl or something. Then that's, that's, that's a good thing because they're doing their job. Those are one of those jobs you don't really want your name called a whole lot. Yeah, if they call your name, you probably yeah, you messed probably up. messed up, or you missed the blog or heard something. Is usually the exactly, best yeah, that is true. Especially. That is true. Talk talk about Dave Tobe a, a little bit. He he got an opportunity to interview for a head coaching job. You don't see many special team coaches get that opportunity to be the head John guy. Herbal. So talk about what he brings to the Chicago Bears team and, and why he's so covenant around here. Well, I think he's a really, he's a big outside the box thinker and you, and you need to have that time to time as a special teams coach. Mm -hmm. He's a very consistently good schemer and he's good at putting the good personnel that we have already in mm -hmm. the best possible uh, area to make plays and to make an impact, whether it be on a return game or uh, making sure we got south coverage. 
And uh, you know, with him getting a head, you know, a shot at a head coaching job, I mean, that's amazing. And everybody's been asking, well, what, what, well, how would you feel if he left? You know, I'd be happy for him. You right. know, it's not every day, especially as a special teams coach, that you get you get a shot at becoming a head coach in the NFL. And I know that he's, you know, publicly said, you know, that's a dream of his. Mm -hmm. and, you know, if he gets a shot at doing that, you know, more power to him. And you know. It's not the first coaching change. It won't be the last one. If exactly. it happened to happen, which it was good that I, I'm, I'm happy that he's staying, and mm -hmm. you know, and we're gonna, you know, keep on building off of what we already have, special teams wise. That, but. that special teams unit is gonna be the highest paid unit. Yeah, really. <laughs> between yes. Yes. between the money that that published guy yes. is taking down. All these guys are making money. a lot of money. Oh, my God, he's gonna be pay, he's gonna but, be buying but they the deserve it though. They deserve Round it. Round of drinks you know? on Adam Polish. No, I'm kidding. Water, <laughs> water, water. <laughs> Anybody drinks? Drinks on, on Adam Polish. He got it. <laughs> he's got your water. He's got your water and a, maybe a twist of lemon. What, lemon. Excuse me. Um, the wait is just you. What's your name? Four drinks. All drinks on Adam. <laughs> so everybody <laughs> else <laughs> drinks. <laughs> All waters are on Adam Podlish. Oh, nice. <laughs> Adam's freaking out over here. He's like, what? No, I forgot he, my he, wallet, he, guys. Hey, you, can't, you can't bust Adam. And Adam just recently became a true Chicagoan. Yes, he did. He bought a wonderful home up in I, Libertyville. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, what, what does it feel wait, like to whoa, be whoa, whoa, Wait, wait, wait. A true shit. He has to go through. He hasn't made it through one of these winners yet. Yeah, and it's just well, started. Well, first of okay. all, uh -oh. and you, she's Chicago's from New York. Tough winners, but they have nothing on upstate New York. That lake effect snow. Are you is serious? Horrible. That's Rocks where he's from. from. Buffalo. That's where I grew you, up. Buffalo. The, you, what is it? The wind. Uh, well, I don't think it gets as well. I don't think it gets as windy as Chicago, but you get a lot more snow in the, in, in in that uh, that upstate New York area. Can, can I really? just rep here for Chicago? Please do not say it has anything to do with the wind. The windy city is because of our exactly. long-winded politicians. True. Nothing to do with the True. weather. All right. No, nothing. Fun fact. Oh, Average nothing. wind speed in New York City is higher than Chicago. Let's get let's well, just blow every, that out of the water. Every time I walk around a corner, it, it seems like the wind too, blows yeah, through. It is windy. Well, you guys are from Florida. You guys are you know like whips. All right. What are you talking about? Yes. I didn't grow up in. Did you just call? Did you just call? Us wimps? Yes, really? I did. We could take this over to the side. Yes, we Let's can. Go, buddy. <laughs> Two against yes, one. We can. Let's do it. Who's we, got money we, on me? <laughs> Nobody. Thank wow, you. Complete the, silence. For the I love right it. Now. I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After that, I'll be pretty descript. It, it is two, yeah, it's yeah. two against yeah. one. Absolutely. You'll be descript and whipped at the same time. <laughs> well, I'm, just, I'm just happy that Adam is putting down his roots, and I think that shows a lot of dedication to the team. You know, I like it. Now. I like it. Talk about. Uh -oh. It's a lot of changes, and, and of course we got to ask you about this. A lot of changes going on, yep. especially from the top with the GM. And I don't know how well you knew um, Jerry Angelo. We got somebody over here that's a fan somebody of the changes. Somebody likes that decision. Who likes Jerry Angelo? Who's happy he's gone? <laughs> Are y'all serious? No love for Jerry Angelo at all. Zero. No love. It is cold he brought there. me here. Me he drafted Alex. He, he brought Alex. this guy here. He, he cut, cut me. He also like, cut Alex. He also cut me too. So, cut me too, so. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm with you guys. <laughs> so talk talk about the change that's going on now, and um, and and who who you would like to see as a GM? What kind of? Because I know as players, we really don't study the GMs. What kind of GM would you like to see come in and take over this team to take it to that next level? Well, I mean, uh, I mean personally, I want to make sure that you know whoever comes in here, I guess. Keep, you keep your job. <laughs> and, that, and, you know, keep stressing special teams like we have. Obviously, right. Lovey's been a big part of that as well. Um, but uh, I think field position is a very underrated part of uh, I don't of believe it's underrated at all. Well, I think, I think it can only be underrated uh, all the time. It's, it's been stressed a lot more nowadays, but I think it's, I think it's still a big part of uh, especially a defensively minded team like mm -hmm. what we have. It's really important to, to make sure that they got to go a long ways and that we can get good returns and start with short fields. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I like the fact that, and it seems as though we might be, you know, keeping the traditional Chicago Bears football that we've had with having stout defenses and running the ball hard. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I was with Mike Tice two years when I was in Jacksonville. Uh, you know, know a lot about him, and you know, he, he knows his stuff. I got a lot of confidence behind him being the well, OC. Well, that, that um, might be good, but we're, we're going to get to that. We're going to we're gonna get if, to if, if, if he's, he's going to be here. If he stays, I know I've heard some things. Uh, right. Everybody has. He's going to Oakland on Tuesday. Yeah, I think I think uh, you know having him as the OC would be you know you know a great a great step in that direction. Mm -hmm. We're live here at the Tilt to Kilt. You're live here at the Tilt to Kilt. You can be here at the Tilt to Kilt. If you're in, around in the area, you come to 1360 Lake Street here in Roselle. Got a pretty nice crowd here, wouldn't we say? There you go. 
got Adam Polish in the house talking um, Chicago Bears with us. Got a couple more minutes with Adam. So Adam, before before we have to let you it. go here, oh, what? are you going to stay with us for the whole hour or you got to get going? You got to stick around. You gotta, you gotta, oh, he's going to stick, stick around. around. Thank you. I want to test his other sports knowledge after this. It's all, <laughs> yeah. he, he knows special teams. Let's we, get into it. We're going to test his sports knowledge and we're also going to test your sports knowledge. Yes, we will. But, Adam, you, you had you had a tough go of it a few years ago when you was diagnosed with cancer. Can you talk about that a little bit? Um, how that kind of changed your life? And I, I know you also have a, a, a charity also now or a foundation. Well, I'm in the process of, of developing one right now. I wanted to uh, make sure I, you know, I kind of got my roots set in Chicago before I started that up. But I definitely want to be uh, really active. Uh, there's a lot of people that are really uh, enthusiastic about being a part of uh, the fight against cancer, and mm -hmm. you know, in the form of a foundation. You know, if I can, you know, start a 501c3. But uh, you know, I got diagnosed, uh, you know, a couple years back. It was right after my third season. Things were looking up. Uh, I had a very good year, and uh, it was a really big surprise. Um, what, what, what's, what was the exact diagnosis? I'm sorry, I don't have my notes with me, but it was it was called a synic cell carcinoma. It's a type of salivary gland cancer, which mm -hmm. it's it's they basically don't know how it happens. It's a, one of the rarest types of cancers. Um, but uh, everything was essentially best case scenario since I got diagnosed. What everything happened really to well. let you know that? How do you they need find to it? go get checked on this? Uh, you know, I, I had had, it felt like a cyst right, you know, right below my ear. My, okay. my fiance is a nurse. She kind of talked me into okay. going and get it checked out. Mm -hmm. said, you know, get it checked out, maybe get it removed, whatever. Uh, it turned out, you know, once right. one thing led to another, let, it turned out to be malignant. Let me stop you right there because what we got to do, we got to go to break and we're going to yeah. come back and continue this conversation with Adam Polish. We got Adam Polish in the house, everybody. We're live here at Tilt to Kill, 1360 Lake Street. If you want to get in on the conversation, you can dial 773 Eight three eight two eight seven three two. When we come back, we, like I said, we'll finish that conversation and we'll jump into the NBA a little bit yes, and have will. Jason Golf from six uh, six seventy to score on. Yes. So y'all stay with us. We'll Stick be right back. back. Two and two. Quick five minute break. Five minute break. <laughs> Quick and five. Then, and then we got a chance to sign some autographs and do some stuff. We got Coors Light in the house tonight. We got some T-shirts back here that we want to give give away. We got a we also, jersey. We got a couple shirts we want to give away. We're gonna sign some stuff. We're gonna be doing some raffles here. We're gonna do a little uh, raffle trivia. Here in a Mr. Trivia over here Mr. got some trivia. Stuff for you. You're missing out. You're you're getting the gist of it. You're getting the show. You're getting us. But you could win some prizes if you were here. Get out here. All right. Welcome back to the Des Clark Alex Brown Show along with the I said the Des Clark. Yes, you did. Okay. I mean, usually he messes that up. Okay. Did, okay. This is the whole thing with this. Yes. <laughs> please. Let's, let's, let me explain this. Let's hash this out. Sometimes I mess up and just say the Des Clark show. Which is, Arrogant. which like kind of leaves us up here kind of like looking at him like, That's cold. really? And then we get up and walk away. Yep. Usually. Sometimes I want them to get up and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> but we're back yes, to we the Des Clark. Alex Brown. And nondescript white guy show. Yes, sir. Along with Adam <laughs> Polish. Adam, you was talking about uh, what you was going through with the cancer, and I interrupted you there, so I want to give you a chance to, to finish um, what you were saying uh, with, with what you went through with the cancer. And, and I think you was talking about your, your wife was... Um, fiance. Don't fiance. get ahead of the game fiance. now. Don't, don't hey, give it to him yet. No, I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm trying to push him. We're, we're close. Uh, but yeah, she had, you know she had mentioned I go get uh, it felt like a cyst check turned out to be a tumor and then you know one thing led to another it was malignant after a biopsy but you know uh, like I said before it was pretty much best case scenario after I got diagnosed but it was it definitely uh, put my life in perspective mm -hmm. um, you know it uh, you don't think about the little things as much or worry about the little things as much after you get something like that and I was very fortunate and very blessed to to go through this ordeal with that perspective change without too much collateral damage, you know, uh, you know, like I said before, everything, the surgery and everything has gone very well. Um, and uh, I don't think I would be as good of, I, don't, I know I wouldn't be as good of a punter after, uh, without going through this ordeal. Uh, I know that uh, going out, I feel much more free. You know, I feel, you know, just having a good time out there and not taking things as seriously as I mm -hmm. might have once did. Um, and, uh, you know, I totally attribute my, you know, my two seasons afterwards, uh, you know, to, you know, that boost from the perspective change through going I bet it changed your perspective on football as well. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't, I mean, it's fun. It's fun to do, but it doesn't, right. it's, it's a game still. Like, this exactly. is, this is life or death that you're talking about. This is cancer. And, you know, going out there and playing, uh, you, you don't have that type of stress on your shoulders anymore because it, it just doesn't mean the same thing that it might have, you know, uh, when you're thinking and, and, and making little things into big things. Uh -huh. So I, I misspoke. And I said his wife, but actually you, you have a wedding coming up. Yeah. How, how was that stress? Talking about oh. stress. 
it's been it's been a, it's been a process. It's, it's been, actually been pretty good. You know, we uh, we've taken it in stride. We've simplified things a whole lot. We're, we're we're both not looking into the huge you know huge wedding type of deal. We just want to have a good party and you know have some people there for a good time. And we're doing it down in Jacksonville, so it won't be four degrees oh, yeah. like it is here. Yeah, so I you mean, need, you we need the to the show grows, for the you know, It doesn't matter. What's you know? that? I'm just letting you know. After the, afterwards, make sure I give the address to the show so you can send us our invites. That'd be oh, great. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Here's a, here's a yeah. deep checkbook. You can just hand the wife and say, hey, you know what? Go get it done, you know? <laughs> and, you know, it's great. She's not a bridezilla or anything like that. She's been, she, you know, she's into, you know, just having a good party. Nothing really formal. Nothing too big of a deal. Awesome. That's good. Yeah, it's been great. Well, that's good. And, that's and been good. You're not the only one that's getting married oh, soon. Who? Yes, you're not. Oh, you're you, not the only you, one getting married soon. Who? I'm a buddy. I thought you were married. I am. I'll not the script. I'll not script. White guy is going to have a very <laughs> descript wife in a minute. Oh well, she's on a plane right now and she can't see this, so I can get away with some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, all right. well, so what do you want me to say? Yeah, so what? But he's beating me to the altar. <laughs> yes, he is. What, he's going to beat me to the altar. Uh, March 2nd. And you're March 24th. 24th. Yeah, he's going to beat me to the altar, so. Well, congratulations to both of you, too. Um, anyway, not yeah. congratulations to us. Congratulations to the women. They're lucky, right? Come on, Adam. I, like, like you say, okay. you're going right, 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 to be wife. I'm not <laughs> agreeing to that, okay? I'm, no, he they can have that. I'm not. I'm a catch. Oh, no. I'm a catch. What kind of a catch? Yeah, you would throw back. Is, uh, kind of a catch. You can be a catch. You can be a catch. I've caught like a thousand fish that I've threw back. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you can get thrown back. You can, <laughs> no matter how many times you take the bait, you can always get thrown back. So, <laughs> I'm not feeling any love. You oh shouldn't. God. And no. once I tell Sarah about this, you might not be Just getting my, any love either. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna do the right thing and say I. The you, cliche thing for me to say, I out punted. You did Mike the right thing. You did. I out kicked your coverage without the some points. There you go. He, he's scoring big time points oh right now. I'm not. I did not. I mean, you did. You're done. <laughs> Talking about having a foot and kicking things, Derrick Rose with that oh, bag toe is man. not going to be kicking anything. I, for, for how does a basketball player get turf toe? He got it stepped on. How does a basketball player get turf toe? What, what people don't understand, what are they call it? hard court toe? Does the turf toe happen. sound like a, a major injury to you guys? Hard court toe. Turf toe. Is it? No. Turf toe? Sounds? No. Let me tell you, turf toe hurts. I had turf toe before. It's not good. And I could not practice for two straight yeah. weeks. Played in the games, but could not practice. So I, I, have, I sympathize with, with Derrick Rose because Trying to play on that is, is hard to do. Trying to jump, trying to run, trying to cut, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's almost impossible to Have do without pain. you ever had paying. turf toe, Adam? I actually did. I did when I was in high school when I was actually playing football on the field as uh -huh. opposed to me kicking a ball. <laughs> but, although I did that too in high school. But, you know, I used to play running back and linebacker and, uh -huh. you know, played both ways. So I, I, I remember having wait, a couple of days. Wait Hold a up. minute. <laughs> Hold on. What? You're not going to slide <laughs> that by me. Like you didn't say that. Like you didn't say that. Like you didn't say that. Wait, what? Hey. I got D1 double A offers for running back. Really? Yes, D1 where? D1, I'm sorry, where? Huh? Where? D1 double A? Yeah, like uh, Hofstra. I know I had a lot of Ivy League offers to play running back. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't say League. anything bad oh, about Hofstra. Nothing, nothing, nothing huge. He's a pre I mean, too. I mean, they, they have a receiver that the Bears actually might be going after. They, they produce one. Who's that? Down in New Orleans. Marcus Colson. Oh, Colson, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I mean. Know he was with Hofstra. He yeah. With Hofstra? No, Seven round that. pick. That's what. That's how you evaluate talent, right there. Yeah, he's one. Mm. <laughs> you want to talk about? Him? I'm just saying. I mean, I'm not talking to anyone direct. They don't have anybody in there yet. But when they get them in, I would love to see some talent like that in the seventh that round. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? I mean, wow. it's a diamond in the rough. That is. It is. I, I, Stevie I, I, Johnson was like a seventh round pick too, if I remember right. He was. Mm -hmm. And he's a free agent coming out of Buffalo. Every, okay, yeah. so once every 20 passes, he drops it when he's wide open in the end zone. But <laughs> <laughs> Talking about this toe, though, seriously, like, if you – have you ever kicked your toe? Stubbed your toe. Stomp your toe. Has anybody oh, stomped their oh, toe here? Anybody stomped like, their seriously, toe? Like, seriously, you're, you're walking through the house and you kick something and you say and a you word curse. that you don't want to say in front of your curse. kids. We right? won't say the words that you say. Look, so he has that look on his face. <laughs> like he's done you it before. It. <laughs> he's done it before. You said it. Like he, he that hurts. That word. Now imagine feeling that feeling every time you take a step. That's it's unbelievable. It's crazy. And it's fans, nuts. Oh, it's but nuts. with that type of injury, the question is, what should the the Bulls do? Should they rest them for for a couple weeks? There, what twelve and three right now, sitting on top of the NBA. 
Um, yes, sir. And, and I, I would. CJ Watson is back. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would definitely rest him. I mean, they're, they're, they're two and one without him. I think they can do it. I, I think they can continue to. They're going to need him in the playoffs. They're going to need him when they see Miami. That's when well, they're going to need him. Assuming yeah. Miami is going to make the playoffs. Miami will make the playoffs. Come on, get out of here. Assuming is that that's not a good is assumption? That, is that an I mean, assumption? I mean, they're, they're playing the Lakers right now. Okay. So that should be a, a decent test. But I mean, you go, they went out west and they, they kind of got it. They lost three in a row. They lost three in a row. To they're going to make the playoffs. All right, we're going to assume that they're going to play the Bulls in the playoffs. Let's please. You want to assume, assume that. that we're going to assume yes. that the Bulls will play? Are you a basketball fan, Adam? Yeah, a little bit. Now you were down in Jacksonville last, you know, year. What did you think about the Heat craze? I mean, did that come up to Jacksonville? Did it come up the uh, coast? I, I don't think the Heat got all the way up there. Uh, really? But I mean, well, we don't. I mean, it's different there because there's no major league teams other than Jacksonville. So mm -hmm. I mean, I was never a big Heat fan. Um, and uh, what, are you a hoops really... fan? I mean, who's your team? Uh, if you're you say fan. Chicago, I don't really have, I don't just say Chicago. I really had a team, but I was a huge Bulls fan. There yeah. you go. There you go. There you <laughs> go. Did I, did I get myself out of that oh, hole? Yes, right. Now Jacksonville really isn't that. I mean, you, you talk about hockey. I mean, you're playing the, you're doing the shoot the puck thing tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. Hey, are you a hockey fan? Yeah. Well, I grew. Wait, up, who's your team? I grew up as a Sabres. Are you a Sabres? Oh. I did. And actually, you know, after I left. So sorry. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, I, got, I went to that game yesterday. I was a boss. And I did root for the Hawks. Thank you very much. You were at the uh, game and you rooted you go, for the Hawks. You go to oh, yeah. Hawks and game. you saw him shoot. Or no. whatever he called shooting. No, I didn't see him shoot. I, I left. I didn't know that there were. I'm mean, glad. You didn't miss anything. I didn't miss anything. I'm glad. Bad habit, so. <laughs> you didn't miss anything at all. I, I don't think I blacked <laughs> out. It was the ice. Shot. It was the ice. Yeah, Adam didn't miss ice. anything. It was the ice. That's Alex missed everything. everything. I missed everything. Yes, I did. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Broadside oh, the barn. Trust me, we'll be watching you tomorrow. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, we'll be watching. <laughs> Every, everybody's tuning into the Hawks here tomorrow night. See Please. Adam, Adam Please cheer, watch right? it. All right. That, that was supposed to be a cheer thing, right? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> five hole in it. Perfect. Are you going to go to the five hole on the piece of wood? That's right. All right. Yeah. So give them some pointers. Give them some. Alex needs the pointers. Yeah, I, I, don't, I really don't. The, the, I guess the performance I put on. I really don't think you need to take anything from what I did. <laughs> this is just being honest. Like, it just so I happens didn't... I brought a stick. Well, we yeah, that do? thing's not my friend, honestly. <laughs> you know? it, it really isn't. I, I, I was hitting, like, just before. You was hitting? I, you was hitting? I was hitting. You yeah, was hitting the puck? Is that puck? not the proper term? You was that's hitting the puck? Well, right okay. There. That's, that's my first problem. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Who hits the puck? I grew up in Florida. We I didn't have in Florida. We don't have you ice rinks in Florida. Shooting. I never hit a puck. We you talked about this. The puck. I was shooting the puck, was okay? I was shooting the puck. What did you do there? I didn't even see it. You tried a wrister, and it didn't work. You know what? If I tried it, it was by accident. Well, because I didn't know what I was doing. I, the thing about a wrist shot is that you actually have to use your wrists. You didn't. You used all arms. You pendulumed. Listen to the Hence coach. why I said, I've never done this before. Yeah. I mean, Ever. If you grab the stick, you know, get a good stick on it, right? Get a good stick on there. Oh, my god. And gosh. then turn it over. Yeah, turn uh -huh. the wrist over. Point yeah. the blade of the stick where it's going to go. You kind of, uh, uh. Well, well, actually, you're supposed to be getting. You're Did supposed he make to, that noise, too? Yeah, I know. I wasn't there I know, right? Yeah. He did make that noise. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you made that noise. Look, that we got we got a we got a photo on our Facebook page, <laughs> facebookcom slash oh, Clark Show of Alex doing it, and you see the look on his face. You know he's going, oh, <laughs> you can just hear it. Oh, I should have uh, T-bowled right after that. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> should have. I should have done it. Yeah, I would have got a. I would have gotten an applause for sure. We're live here at the Tilted Kilt in Roselle. If you want to come on down, you can come down to 1360 Lake Street. If you want to get in on the conversation, you could dial. Oh, man, I got all kind of stuff in the way, but I can remember the number. 773-382-8732 if you want to get in on the conversation. He's sitting here with Adam Polish. Just had a, a – I don't know what we were talking about, then, because we were talking yeah, about the we Bulls. Got, Let's go back to the off. Bulls. Then. Yes, we got way off. Let's go back to the Bulls. I want to talk about the first place Chicago Bulls. Let's talk about Boozer. 31 points the other night. It, Much it, maligned Carlos Boozer. Yes, because he's a, he's a max guy. And he's mm -hmm. not playing like a, a, a match guy with his point production. But he did have 31 points the other night. I feel like this team is a better team when Rip Hamilton is in the game. It seems like they have a better flow. And it opens up more things for Carlos Boozer when you have that guy shooting the ball. And they have to pay attention to that number two guard. Have you checked out any of the Bulls games yet? Since I haven't been to one yet. That's my next thing I got to do. I, I got to do that and I got to do a Cubs game. 
Like, you gotta do a Cubs. What a socks yeah. game. Get out of here. Cubs. Cubs. Yeah. Cubs. If you go to the Cubs game, Cubs the, the whole go, place is gonna go fall there. down on you. Don't go, go there. Like, what? Please don't go there. Get out of here. Go to a Sox game, okay? North side has to be a Cubs fan. Yes. No, 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 no. I live on the north side, and I like the Sox. The Sox. But Sox. Yeah. Is it Sox? Let me hear you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let me hear for the Cubs. Yeah. Yep, this, all this, six this of y'all. Like yep, like all six of y'all. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Is it is it pick on the nondescript white no, guy? No, it's day? not. I mean, you is just, that what it is? You just, I mean, the only thing like you you choose games, right? And we'll get. Oh, to I that. kick your butt. Okay, in we'll get to that. Oh my God. Oh. We're not there yet. <laughs> We're not there yet. <laughs> Still talking about Boozer. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he Noah. did it in three quarters, which was impressive. Thirty-one to me. points, three quarters. He did that. That was impressive. I've liked him. I've liked the pick since they picked him up. Except for last year, like he he got a except that's the this last year, year that he's been there. No, when they picked him up, okay. I liked it. He didn't do his job. They need more from him. Wait, they you say when? When did he not do his job last year? In the playoffs, playoffs. when he had turf toe. Okay, okay. I had turf toe. You just talked to me about how painful turf okay. toe is. Yes, I did. And that's he had turf toe. No, 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 no. It, it's painful. But I guarantee, if it was playoff time, D Rose would be out there. Oh, I, I believe you. Oh, okay. Yeah. No matter but how painful mean, it is. Yeah, I mean that doesn't mean that. I mean, we played the Green Bay Packers. Okay, we played the Green Bay Packers. Oh uh, six. I dislocated my shoulder two weeks prior to that. You think I was missing that game? Not a chance. True story. No way. True story. Not a chance. What was that? What was True story. story. <laughs> not a not a chance. I'm not missing that game. What was that? Come on. I, come on. Are you putting Derrick Rose and Carlos Boozer on the same level? No, not at all. All right. I'm, I'm, talking, about, I'm sure. talking about an athlete that's the problem. and playing with pain. That's what we do. Or that's what I used to do, I guess. Yeah, I was saying, <laughs> I'm yeah. still an athlete. athlete, though. I mean, I'm not playing, but I'm still an athlete. And that's what guys do. They, when oh, you're wait, wait, wait. You're, you're telling play. me what guys do? Like, I don't know? Oh, do, I'm sorry. Do you, I'm do sorry. You, do you know? You, maybe I'm missing did, something. Did anybody see oh, our, our friend Adam Steele on a on a Who? field? Adam Steele? I mean, you just yeah. called me Adam Steele. Ryan, Ryan, Adam, Ryan Steele. Adam Steele. Did, did you? No, seriously. I didn't realize like, I changed my name. I didn't know you were. Are you? Are you an athlete? Oh, I'm an athlete. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Since I play when? football. You can play football. Oh yeah, I got. I'm, I'm on a solid. Did Jerry Angelo win. tell you that? <laughs> Did Jerry Angelo tell you That's that? That's why he got fired. Tim Ruskell, sad Tim talent Ruskell. evaluator. Oh Tim Ruskell gosh. told me. Being no, good I, at I play football. Doesn't stop. make you. Hey, I, 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 I did not play fantasy football. <laughs> you, you did play fantasy football, <laughs> and, and I whooped up on you. You did not whoop league. up on me. We had the same you, record. You ended up in eighth place. I ended up in fourth place. Just because your division sucked and I Boozer, was in the top Boozer, division. you're getting no love, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we just can't even stay uh, up. Let's, let's go. You're getting no Tangents. love, buddy. <laughs> Tangents. Can we, can we go? Okay, rip in yes. the game. Yes. Rip in the game. I agree with Des. When he's in there, the defense, two-guard defense, can't drop down and double up on, on uh, Boozer Boozer. and Noah as much because rip is one of the best in the game at moving without the ball. And that's why it's good for a, a guy like Derrick Rose, who dominates the ball at times, and 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 you Rightfully have a guy, so. yeah, and you have a guy who can play off of him when he's penetrating, finding the open open spot, and spotting up and hitting those jumpers. And yeah. now, like you said, now that defense has to come out, and that opens up that low post game for Boozer to have more space. Right. I, I, agree. I think that's I. I'm excited to see when all the players are. Hitting on all cylinders on the on the court, what they can do. I mean, you look at that home opener and rip to even play. That thing was a laugher mm-hmm. by the first quarter. Right. It was over. Memphis just got to hand it to him. I mean, I feel bad that yeah. Zach Randolph went down, but they just got to hand it to him. You know. But I don't know. I, I think the the measuring stick is when they play the Heat. March that's, was it fourteenth? March fourteenth, I, mean, I believe that he come to town. That's the measuring stick. It's not. There's your first game the right Celtics. there, Adam. Yeah, Get yeah, tickets yeah, to the March fourteenth game. Well, well, good. I mean, that's well, a tester, though. Well, he's got right. money. It is. He can buy. Uh, he has money. Yeah, yeah. That, the money isn't the issue with him. No, Heck, he'll be on the floor. I'll be up in the cheap seats for there sure. In the nosebleeds. He'll be in the unemployed He'll be. But you bring up a good question though. Yeah. Can can this Bull team's team overtake the Heat for the Eastern Conference championship this year? Will, will it happen? Will, uh, I believe they can. I mean, they can. I mean, they can do it. Yeah. Will I, they do it? I'm if curious Boozer what Adam plays, thinks. If Boozer plays the way he does, I mean, they can do it. I, I, I think they can do it. I think, I mean, from will if they you do take it? a look at how they're playing, well, I mean, they've been, I mean, Miami's, I mean, especially with the cast characters they've had, they've had a little more experience in the playoffs. Uh-huh. But 
I mean, right now, I think with the way that the Bulls are playing, I think, I think they definitely have a shot to do it. But, I mean, it all comes down to, you know, when you get into the playoffs, if you make them count. Right, right. You know, I you're agree. as good as your last game. Right. That is right. And, and, and that is very true. There's yeah. only one team that wins that last game. Hopefully it's the Bulls this year. I think yeah. they really do when have to make up to do it. I mean, you look at a team that's, that's deep, deeper than any other team in the league. They go yeah. 10 deep. Maybe and they're 11. showing it, and that's good. I mean, that that's going to help them in the playoffs. You you have what I think nine players that average seven points or more. That's mm -hmm. I, I bet if you look at any other roster, you're not going to find that on any other no. team. No, no. So yeah. I think they. I mean, when you look at a Sheik who's coming to his own a little bit more Homer. this year, mm -hmm. um, Taj Gibson who's always been that contributor off the bench. When you bring two bigs off the bench like that. I think you really have an advantage because it's, it's a lack of bigs in the league right now. We talked about that last last week with Dwight Howard getting all the the votes, and then your your guy, the Florida Gator, Noah. Whoa, oh my ben, God! I'm glad you got to him. Ben, ben, I was wondering well, when you were going to get to him. Been 700,000 votes behind him and being in second place. <laughs> hey, he is 700,000. That is nuts, yeah, Stephen. Really? Say, really? He is. Hey, come uh, on. big news out of the NBA today. You know, Derrick Rose overtook LeBron James in votes for the All-Star game. For third, right? Not, third not, overall, uh, Dwight Howard, number one, Kobe, number two, there. D. Rose, now number three. Wow. Co uh, LeBron, you know, mm -hmm. Prince. I'm sorry. The Prince? Prince. Well, I can't call him King. He hasn't won anything. <laughs> you, you're too funny. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Court <laughs> Jester. Come up with the craziest he's, stuff, not, he's not even the leader on his own team. That... Okay. okay. Let, 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 are okay. we getting on no. this? We, are we no. gonna get we, on we, this? We're gonna ask Adam. We had this debate last week, Adam. We know that LeBron is physically the best player, Most talented. In, the best talent in the NBA. But what we want to know from you, and we're gonna put the pressure on you. We're not gonna say okay. who was who and who had what argument. Whose team is it down in Miami? Is it LeBron's team or is it D Wade's team? Uh oh! I think it's LeBron's team. You suck, Adam. Yeah. I, I, I agree with you. you. Thank you. Go I kick a ball. Thank you. Go kick yeah, a ball. You can be the best player on your team and not be your team. Uh, you know, just because the first time they go to D. Wade. Please hold on, hold on. Can the man I mean, talk? They, God, I mean, let him. They go to him doesn't mean that it's his team. You know, that's what I I'm think, talking about. I mean, it's it's more than just that being your team. I mean, let's face it. I mean. What you what you say to the players, what your presence is on the in the in the locker room or on the team, that's that mm -hmm. means more. Okay, and that's D Wade. Did I you hear what, did you hear what Chris Bosh said know. the other day? Last week Chris Bosch came out and said at the end of the game, he prefers the ball is in D Wade's hand. Yes he did. But that doesn't mean it's his team. That means okay, well it's he one wants guy. Him to shoot it. But like I said, what you do in a locker room and how you lead a team doesn't necessarily mean that you should have the ball in your hands when the game's on the line. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know? fine. So you're saying a locker room leader means it's his team. That's right. that's my de definition. Oh, that's your definition. Okay. Yeah. Whose team is the Bears? Good question. Ooh. That's who's a good question? Well, why is that a good question? I think it's good. good. I want to know it, who's the team leader it, in the Bears. Come up this 54. year. Fifty-four. Is it? What I is would, it? You it, haven't been I there for would, years. Would, it does, it didn't change. Did it's he leave? Different. It's different in the NFL when you have when you have a, squ a, su a huge squad with an offensive and guys, defensive yeah. you know squad. I say defensively, it's it's 54's team. It's 54's team. Well, I, without I, a doubt. I, I think could, he's got the biggest presence. He's he's the biggest leader. And I mean, he's a great guy to have in the locker room. He does nothing but pump everybody up. I could tell you this. Uh oh. You saying 54. Before 57 left here, it was 57's team. He wasn't the face of the You're team? saying it was only no, missed no, out on We ain't talking about we talking about in the locker room. You're saying 54. in the locker room, it was only No, 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 no. Hold on. In the oh. locker room. Okay. Well, well, we need, I think we need to get the definition well, of a leader. To Chris. We need to find them. out the definition of a leader. Honestly, because to you know. be a leader, you have to have people that follow you. Okay? And the people that follow 57 was the offensive line. They would. Maybe a lot of guys on offense. Not the defense. Everybody on that team would follow 54. There was no question. A leader has to have followers. I follow 57. You also follow 54, too. You would. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying you wouldn't follow 57. I'm just saying everybody on that team would follow 54 if he's leading. That's a leader. That's just because Olin said what a lot of people didn't want to say. Oh, we didn't want him to say. Well, <laughs> oh, he said everything. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah. We said hey, everything. We're live here at the Tilted Kill. If you want to come down, you can come to 1360 Lake Street in Roselle. And hey, we got a couple more minutes here with Adam Potlish, who was nice enough to join us. Yes. Adam, hey, 
we, we appreciate you coming out, and we just want to just thank you for having the great season that, that you had this year. Oh, it was an amazing yeah. season for a punter. 40, I mean, yeah. 40 net. I don't think people a, understand how great that is. Over the last years, it's been 35, 36, 37, 38 at the highest. Mm -hmm. I mean, those yep. extra five yards can make or break yeah. a, a game because of field position. And we just, you did a great job this year, and we just want to thank you for coming out and wish you continued success um, here at the Bears. Obviously, you got a lot, you got a few more years here with that five year deal. Oh, yeah, four plan. more at least. Yeah, you do. That's Congratulations on Andy bought a house. Hey, Andy great getting job. married. Yeah. Great job. Crazy. Really appreciate it. I, I'm glad you're here. You're breaking records already. So Sorry. keep it up, man. Keep Sorry. it up, and congratulations on the uh, on the wedding. And where are you going for your honeymoon? Uh oh, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do Mediterranean Europe. Actually, we're gonna do. I've Ooh, never been to nice. Europe before, other than the game that we played this year. Okay. So I uh, figure I'll do it uh, not as a business trip. You know. Did, nice. you, did you pick that, or did she pick that? I actually did. She left it up to me, and I was gonna do Hawaii, really? but she'd already been. Uh huh. And uh, we both want we both decided we want to do something together. That You've we never been to Hawaii. Before. Never. I'm going to wait until you, I actually go. That's you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, hopefully yeah. he gets there next I'm year. I'm so. Well, I, no, hopefully Absolutely. he doesn't. Why not? Because I want him to be playing the week after. In the uh, Super Bowl. Okay. Right? You can't okay. actually go to Hawaii if you're playing in the Super Bowl. <laughs> okay. Well. All right, you, <laughs> what are you talking about? Are All you right. saying that the Bears like are going to make the Super Bowl? Who wants to see Adam in the Pro Bowl or the Super Bowl? Who would you rather see? Pro Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. Super Bowl, right? Which one? Thank you. Sorry, I love you, bro, but I don't want to see you in Hawaii. Me too. I mean, no. I, hey. What? I, hey, I'm, I hope y'all do well next year. Yeah. I really do. Um, you fire your GM. Hopefully, if he comes in and love y'all, uh, y'all can get together a great year and maybe get an opportunity to get in the playoffs and get to the position you were last year. So, and you can win that NFC Championship game. So, good luck, and we really appreciate you coming on. Everybody give it up for Adam Polish. Yes. Thanks for having me, guys. De I appreciate definitely it. let us know about any charities you get set up. We'll be involved, definitely. Uh, and follow Adam on Twitter at AdamPodlish08. That's AdamPodlish08. That's mm -hmm. on Twitter. Check it out. You tune in to the Dez Clark Show. We'll be right back in five minutes. Thank See you. what I'm talking about? Welcome He's back to the Dez Clark. Alex Brown. And nondescript white guy show. Live at the Tilt to Kill here in Roselle at 1360 Lake Street. So you come on down if you're in the area. Enjoy the fun. Oh, man. We got good nachos over here. Oh, man. You got to bring them up here. We can't go over there. Well, hold on. I mean, you guys have got to see this nachos. I will come no, over come, here. Come. No, I will. No. Oh, man. No, seriously, come. But seriously, we, for those of you who are so watching home. online, you've oh got to gosh. see these nachos. Look, these look at these ridiculous. nachos that they look serve here at Tilt to Kill. You can't even see my look face. Look at that. And I, and you can't even see my face between that. Can I have one? No, that's all right. That's all you got. Let get one of these. We just wanted to get it on the kill. Tilted Kill, these nachos are amazing. If you haven't ordered, get the nachos. You know what? Look at this, personal service. I'm going to give some in a second, but that's, let me take one more. <laughs> make one. You made a mistake of giving Alex mm. food. You may never get it back. That's awesome. All right, we'll stop by later. So if you, you're watching live online, come on out to the Tilt to Kilt. We'll be here at least another hour on the show, another hour after that, signing autographs and taking photos. Yes, sir. And if you want to call, you can call in at 773-382-8732. We got great. Coors Light in the house tonight with some T-shirts. Mm -hmm. Got another ball to give away. We got another ball. Cool, like, cool as life. We got a 9-6 jersey to give away, baby. Garbage. Wait, wait. What would you rather have, a ball or an Alex oh, yeah. Brown jersey? Yeah. That's what I thought. And we're going to get it done. 9-6 for somebody. Somebody. For your boy. There we go. That's my guy. Yes. Yeah, but he's wearing 51. <laughs> he is. He's my yeah, guy, he's but he's wearing, wearing 51. 51. He doesn't have a 96. Do you know that reminds me of? That reminds me of when our vice president tried to introduce Mike Dicka, and he said, Duck Coach, Dick Butka. Oh, wow. Wow. That was our vice president introducing Mike Ditka. I call him Dick Butka. Yeah, that's not good. That, that probably didn't sit well with Mike. That, no, that I, didn't sit well. Did he, did he stay long? It's almost, that's almost as bad as, uh, it's almost as bad as um, the other day, Dick Stockton said at the NBA game, he was doing the announcing, he says, before the game, NBA commissioner awarded the MVP to oh, yes. oh. David Rose. Oh, that's bad. How don't, how, don't, how, don't you, how don't you know who Derrick Rose is by now? He's only the man. Yeah. He is the, he is the man, that's for sure. If, if you were running the Bears right uh -huh. now, first of all, you want to release yourself in, in um, 09. Uh, uh, no, 10, no, 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 no. I would, I would definitely bring 2000. myself back, for sure. Yes. Yes, but. But looking at this team now uh -huh. and the makeup of this team, which direction would you go in the draft um, as far as addressing? It's, okay, let's just start here. We don't need a quarterback. Mm -hmm. We don't need a running back. No. Nope. We don't need a first-round, second-round middle linebacker right now. 
I'm not so and, sure about that. And middle linebacker, we could get. I think we could get a strong side linebacker in right now. What well, we could use one, but every other position on the field, we need somebody to step in right now to help this team. Where will you go with that first round pick? Well, where I would go with it is. Exactly. I mean, depending on the the offensive coordinator that I have, if he likes to run the ball, I need I need to get a second round guard in here, or if there is a graded yeah, thought, out thought, first round. Line? Yeah. You want to go offensive line? You know, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got. You know how you told how I was talking today, and he was talking about how you jumping subjects. I thought I asked first round, not second round guard. I understand, but the guards don't <laughs> usually go in the first round. Okay, so now first round, where take, you going? We got the 19th first, pick in the draft. Who would you take? Who's there? I mean, that, that, well, that Piper accounts Jr. to it, too. Mel Kiper Jr. released his first that, I don't, draft I don't care what, what Mel Kiper say. What position? What position would you go? A receiver. Receiver. I need a receiver. I need, I need a more explosive offense aside from Forte if I have to choose somebody in the first round. But I'm going to address my guard position so you in the go, second round, for sure. You would go with the wide receiver in the first round of the draft? You want to try to address the wide receiver need via no. free agency? No. No, I wouldn't. I, I, would, I would go I in the draft and, and probably free agency, too. Well, who's out there in free agency? Oh, uh, let me just name a few. I'm sorry. Johnson, Marquez, uh, Mar uh, Colston. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm sorry. Mario Manny. Let me add to that. Let me, that Mike Wallace. That the Bears can't afford. You can't say Colston. Reggie Wayne. You can't say Pierre Vincent Garçon. Jackson. I'm still rolling. He I'm not done yet. That, how can they Peter afford Gar them? Pierre Garçon? Said Garçon yeah. Okay, with that mindset, then you're assuming that they're going to sign Forte. Because if they don't and they franchise him, that's going to eat up half of the cap that they have available. So you're assuming that they're going to – they only have, what, 20, 19 million available. That, like, that's what they had this year. Yeah, they, 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 they probably available. have more next no, year. No, they're not going to have more because – Contracts. I mean, they're the contracts go up. They well, got you know, the last thing I seen. It's because they gave that Adam Polish guy all the money. Well, is what it was. Well, the last like last time I saw, they had twenty. They had right. twenty available, and for a running back, it's going. Well, it's a little over eight. Agent, you can push some of that out. It's you a little can. over eight. Not on a not on a franchise tag. Oh, I'm, not gonna, get, no, I'm not saying about a franchise. So you're not going to franchise him. Okay. Yeah, you're not, you're I would hope sign not. him. I would hope. We I hope him. they do, but I, I don't think they will. Let me let me ask you this: top ten running backs. Is where's Matt Fall? Second. You think he's the second best running back in the NFL? I think he's one B. Honestly, he he's got to be in the top three. I think he's one B. He is right there with Adrian Peterson. I I don't know why. I don't know why we don't think. I mean, I don't know if, like we do, but I don't think he gets the same love as Adrian Peterson because if he did, the Bears wouldn't have offered him a $24 million contract, so, and Adrian Peterson got $100 million. So you would rather have Matt Forte. You think Matt Forte is higher than, say, Arian Foster, Maurice Jones-Drew? Uh, you know, yes. I'm taking him. Maurice, Maurice Jones-Drew is the only player on that team. He gets the ball every time, whether it's a screen or a run. They have nobody else. So, of course, his numbers are going to be – Inflated a little bit. I'm just. I mean, just an uh, honest I, question. I'm taking. Where do you I'm rank taking Forte. Matt Forte I in the series two. of running backs? You two. say two. Dez? two. I, I, he's got to be top three. He's got to be top three. I, I think he's like six. Shoot. Who, 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 almost said a bad word. Putting... <laughs> <laughs> I almost said a bad word right there. <laughs> what other five running backs oh are you going to put in front of him? What am I, I? Honestly, I believe. I. I believe that obviously Adrian Peterson. I think Arian Foster, I mean, he made that screen catch, was unbelievable, one-handed grab. Oh. I believe Arian Foster. Okay, there. you have an pay argument. Him. Okay, let's pay him $80 million because he made an unbelievable screen catch. Hey, he's been doing it for two, you know, okay. two years oh under his belt. You got three more. No way. I, all right, let me just keep going. I'm going to go Maurice Jones-Drew up there. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to get up. <laughs> he's going to get up. <laughs> What? So you're going you're best you athlete pick. available. Not athlete. You'll I want be, a football player. Best value. I, don't, I don't want a, best I don't want a player football available. player. Best yeah. player available. Exactly. I don't, want a, I don't want just a good guy. Sometimes you need a bad guy. Sometimes you need a Tank Johnson. <laughs> you you want to have a team a what? Uh, Sometimes you need a Tank Johnson on your team. Your tank was a heck of a player. He still played after he left here. Okay. You can't, you're not going to have a team full of guys that played at Princeton. I'm sorry. Okay. Great guys. You're not going to have it. So you need a guy with a little 
a little history to him, you mean? Not history, but if with, he did have some history, his fresh face with a little, dog, little dog, dog in him. him. That's, what I, dog. that's what I'm talking about. A I don't rock. want a nice guy. I don't want a guy that a he junkyard. knocks the crap out of you and he helps you up. Get out of here. He, you talking about like you did? Talking about like you did? Talking about like you did? Talking about like you help people up when you Not a chance. No way. No way. Diamond in the rough, baby. I want to say, I want to say, you know, I believe under the years, you know, and a lot of us Bears fans, long-suffering Bears fans in Chicago, we have a, a place in our heart always set aside for the Super Bowl 20 victors. And during that year, that was like a nasty defense. I mean, it wasn't, they, they were awesome and they were nasty. Dicka actually would find them if they helped another player out. What, what, is, what does this look for? Are you doing Tebow on me here? What, what's going on? No, I, I'm, I am, okay, if this is my cup full, I am here. With the 85 team. Oh, my God. Well, can we stop? Well, win a Super Bowl, we can stop talking about can it. Can we stop talking about win this? Win a Super Bowl, and we will stop talking you about it. You know, I have one thing to say. I mean, I'm done with it. I have one thing to say. I know a lot of people out there, they love the 85 Bears. I think they're a great team. One team. of the greatest. I think they were a great team. They had one of the best offensive lines. They had Deep arguably best the line. best running back ever. They had two really good receivers. They had a decent quarterback. They had a great defense. Amazing but defense. Not, see, and that's where... That's where I differ from that. I don't think they were amazing, okay? I think during the playoffs, hold on, just hear me out, hear me out. During the don't, playoffs, don't, don't during the playoffs, they were amazing. During the season, I watched every single game of that year well, because that's six. all I hear about. No, 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 I watched it more, since okay. I've been here. I've watched every single game, and they weren't that good. Okay, they were really good, but they weren't amazing because they were down like, Four or five games during that year, they were down. McMahon had to come in that Minnesota game and save their butt, okay? They were down. When you're that special, you don't get down. When they hit the playoffs, that's when they became special. And that's what I think the people in Chicago remember is the playoffs, and they think that they were like that the whole year, which then that isn't true. They weren't like that the whole year. That's all I'm saying. They were good. I mean, they were really so, good, so but they I, weren't I, I special the whole year. They, <laughs> gave up, they gave up 38 points the first game of the year. How's that special? Let I'm just me, saying. Let me, let me we, just we say. Let me just say. Alex about this. Let's get back to. Don't just be saying. talking, at, at, I'm just saying. I mean, Alex just really stepped in it right on that one. I'll say. I didn't. No. The point of it was we had nasty on that defense, and Dicka would issue like fines or make guys do laps in practice if they helped up the opposing team. That's another thing. <laughs> See, what? Well, jeez, that's we another got, thing. We got another rant coming because from Alex. He he would. You would go on and you would say, "My gosh, look at Swartz." Coach for the Detroit oh, Lions. Here we go. Here we and go. he hates him. Oh, he is, he is this, he is that. Can't stand how he acts. When Dicka acted like that, it was great. Oh, it was wonderful. He's a great coach. Oh, he's a Schwartz is a one. What? Come on. <laughs> Just be fair. Just be fair. Just Schwartz because you win the Super Schwartz, Bowl right? and then you scream at somebody, it doesn't make it right. Either it's wrong or it's right. That's it. You got to see it one way. Dicka, Dicka never got into a fight on a handshake. What Dicker did, what, what Dicker did, for his player own, go, he almost oh, fought his own coach. Oh, oh, save me, save me. Dick almost fought his own coach. He should have oh, fought off some of, them, some of them commercials he was filming in 86. <laughs> That's what he should have fought <laughs> off of. That's what he should have fought. That's but I know people don't like that, so whatever. Yeah. It, well, you, you, you might get some. That's okay. Hey, can I, That's okay. Can I name yeah. my top My dad now? told me when I was a little, okay, and everybody's wait, not going to like it. You, you had three. I completely forgot about Chris Johnson down in Tennessee. Right now? Right now. Well, I, feel, no, I still think he's out. special. I think he's special. But, but right I, now, it's take the holdout. He, he started rounding in a form at the end of the season. His holdout really hurt him. Okay, just let me say this. He is not a more well-rounded running back than... I think he's a, a more of a game-changer than Matt Forte, though, is. When was the last time Matt Forte busted out an 85-yard run twice in a game? I mean, he just busts it and goes. When, who, when the who, last who, time anybody, anybody did that? Did that? <laughs> last year, Chris Johnson. Oh, name one more. Last year, Chris Johnson. But thank you. That's what I'm talking about. You can't, okay. can't name something okay. that's, that happens you got four, like that's four. once every 10 years. I got Barry Sanders. Oh, no, I'm kidding. God, oh, my gosh. Oh, you, I, he, he made a list over here. Why to... well, you didn't say Frank Gore? I, you don't want Because no, you, you don't want to say Gore. that. What, Frank Gore? I think Frank Gore, when he's no. in the right system, can just pound the tackles. No. But he does not catch the ball in the backfield like Matt Forte. He what is, doesn't run the ball like Matt Forte. What does either. the right system mean? If you play great in it, is that the no, right system? I think that Matt Forte this year was given more chance to uh, show what he can do before this year. Like, he was in Mike Martz's system. He's not the right running back for Mike Martz out in there. He's not a receiver. Mike Martz likes to use running back like Marshall Falk out of the back. Who's not a receiver? Matt Forte? No. Frank Gore. So he's in the right system because all they do is run the ball out exactly, there. Exactly. That's what I was saying. So 
What's your point? Is he better than... Um, I didn't say that. Well, why you have him on your list? I was just writing down running backs. The, mm. No, you wrote down five over yes. there to, to and say I was that trying it, to make a running back. you just got busted. <laughs> I, I'm trying to make a running back. So basically, you can't come up with, with I will, five. I, I will. I'm just let's trying to remember the, who's in let's, the Let's league. see if we can get the fans. Let's see if we can get the fans involved. <laughs> There it is. Thank are you, you serious? Thank you. Many, what do you have, Forte? What do you have, Forte? You have him in the top five in the NFL? Thank you. Oh, I, you just, I, I agree totally. Up. I agree. What a sucker. What, 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 what do you have, Dan? Rank, rank what do you rank Matt Forte backs? in the league? Number Top what? Top three? Top, top five? Two, top five? Top, top three. Top three. Top three. Top three. Top three. You got five over there? You got him in fifth? Please, hey, I hey, said four. six. Please, please don't listen. He don't even have him in the top five, okay? Don't let him nod you on. I, you know? I got him top six. He's top over here like six. This. Oh, my. You, you have him in the, in the top five, right? <laughs> right? Top five? No, he, he gave me a hand. He said like that. Oh, man. I, I, think, he's, I think he's one right, B or is, two. Way so, off topic. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's, yeah, let's, let's move jump on. back before we have to go can to we, another break here. Can we talk? Before we go to another break, let's, let's jump to the, to the gym. But, you know, we also got to tell the people – you only got like another half hour, 40 minutes to get down here. Please do. Get into the fun. Yes. The good food. You know, you got a pretty woman here, uh, Tilt to Kilt. Hey, having a great Best time. Best of all, here. you got this Alex Brown jersey coming. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Let's, let's go, go back to the waitresses. <laughs> we're located at 1360 Lake Street in Roselle at the Tilt to Kilt. So come on down and, and join in the fun. But this, this Bears GM search. Yes. It, it's something that early on I thought, okay, they had it together. But after really re-examining these candidates, it makes it, you shake your head. It makes it, you shake your head. S M H. You know what? I, <laughs> shake my head. Is that what that means? Yes. Shake my head. Shake my head. head. Shake my head. Are and, you kidding okay, me? We got some teenage. Are you a teenager? A am I? Is it bad? That I, didn't, I didn't know what S M H means. S M H. Do you know what it means? Is it what? bad that I didn't know what that? He didn't meant? know what it was till just now. Yes. I, I, I came in. I came in and somebody. I came in and somebody told me they um. I, we were talking, and so I, uh, I, they said something, or I said something, and they say, OMG. I was like, what? No, you do not say that in OMG? Verbal. Oh, okay. I'm like, I'm 32. I don't know. We didn't use OMG. I'm, you, don't, I'm sorry. you don't say. But I know what it means, though. Texting characters, is, that's for texting. If I'm in a conversation, personal with someone, no. and they bust out SMA, I'm like, what? <laughs> Just shake your head I'm, I'm going to start like. doing that to you because I know that it'll get up under your skin now. I mean, come on, but, YOLO. But is it, something yeah. that got up under my skin is that we, the first person that they interviewed for this GM position was Jason Lick. From the Patriots. This, from the Patriots. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but they are oh interviewing gosh. people basically to run the draft and be a puppet. That's what I think. Evaluate college talent to draft, yes. Jason Lick wasn't even in the draft room up, up with the Patriots. How do you interview a guy that wasn't even in the draft room to come here and run a draft for you? Because you drool at the New England the Patriots. Patriots and say, oh, my gosh, look, look at the what they do. dude can evaluate talent. Get out of here. Get somebody good. Belichick is making decisions off the information Belichick that was given to him. Belichick wouldn't this guy in the, in the room. Well, Belichick is an egomaniac. Who? This Don't guy matter. right here. Bring it, Bill. Room come on, again. Bill. You're an egomaniac. <laughs> That's okay. Jason? I don't even think the doors to the tilt to kilt are big enough for Bill Belichick's <laughs> ego to get through. But he wins. So he does win. He does win, and he wins with Julian Edelman, a wide receiver playing DB. Well, he has Tom Brady at yeah. quarterback, that, who was drafted true. in what the sixth or seventh round? I can't remember. Yep. Sixth round. Sixth round. But when you look at all these other candidates, you look at a Jimmy Ray who has a decent track. Jimmy record. Ray from the Giants. Their draft history lately. Has no, been... that's Mark Mark Ross. Oh, I'm sorry, Jimmy Ray's from San Diego. You're right. Here. Mark Ross from the Giants, their draft history lately. I mean, Hakeem Nix. Yes. You know, I didn't Pierre see that. Paul, I didn't Pierre see that. Paul. Did you Paul. see that? Did, did anybody see that guy being that good? Nix, um, I mean, out of North well, he, Carolina. He was, he was a first round draft pick. I, I mean, he was a first round draft pick. So obviously, they've seen was, it. That's what I'm saying. I mean, they but had a who great else? draft He was a last big, years. fast guy, but could he catch? I mean, you look it, at those drafts last year. Oh, he he's good. He's real good. Those last few years, if you really start to study the drafts of the New York Giants, and I don't have my computer here to look them up, they have been phenomenal. 
Okay, let's not go too far. Oh, I don't know. The talent that they get from it has been awesome. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal, though? I would say so. I, I think I would, you threw I around. You, some of the top you throw there. around words, and you're going to put them as phenomenal and put Matt Forte at six. I'm going to put Matt Forte Jeez. at six. Yes, I am. All right, that's, all right. that's what we're dealing with here. <laughs> this is what, this is what we're dealing with. What Des Clark and Alex Brown has to deal with here. <laughs> yes. That's why we call it the Des Clark Alex Brown show. <laughs> <laughs> because of stuff like that. Crickets. Where's the crickets? Jeez. And you're listening to the Dez Clark Alice Brown Show. If you want to get in on the you fun, need. you have 30 Call minutes in. to get down. You to come out 1360 here. Lake Street here in Roselle at the Tilt to Kill. You want to call in, you call in at 773-382-8732. We're going to take a short five-minute break, involve the crowd with a little, little bit more trivia. You're missing and some fun. You need get, to get out here. We're going to give away this just in case you need to wash minute, your car. This? Hold on, this. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait we'll a minute. Right back. This? All right, folks, we're back at the uh, Des Clark and Alex Brown and Nondescript <laughs> White Guy Show. Before we get going, uh, too much, and we have a phone call coming in. This jersey. I got it right here. I got it. Somebody's going to call in. I got it right here. This I have the jersey, question. This jersey, the yeah. third orange jersey. Ooh, wow. It's actually, ooh, it's all. Alex Brown will sign it for you. It's a number 96, but you're going to have to answer a couple of questions to get it. Two for those questions. of you who tuned in live, online, if you're here in person, this is what you'd be getting. You could right? get this you, right here. So make sure you, you, you pay attention to the website, DesClarkShow.com, and to find out where we're going to be each week, DesClarkShow.com or Facebook.com slash DesClarkShow. And you can find out where we're going to be. Here's a question for you. It's a two-parter. Since it is an Alex Brown jersey. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I get the floor? See it. Please see it. What? Please see it. It's, it's an Alex Brown jersey? No, no, no. Like, give me the floor right now so I can ask the question. Oh, Alex wants to ask the question. Yes. There we go. Alex is going to ask the question. It's a two-part. Here it is. Here we go. So the question is, behind three, which three players, behind, how many sacks did I end up with in my career? Okay. I don't know if your Wikipedia has been updated. <laughs> <laughs> How many sacks did I end up in my career, and which three players? In Bears history. Which three players are the only ones like ranked above me? Because I am fourth in Bears history yes, in sacks. Alex Brown is the fourth overall in career sacks for the Chicago Bears. Which three rank above him, and how many did Alex finish his career, Bears career with? Right. Yes, sacks. How many sacks did Alex Brown finish his bet? And, he and everybody is going and he crazy. Cannot answer. You are Googling. You cannot Google it. Stop Googling. Come on. <laughs> be man. You know, step up to the plate. Come on. 46, I got to No, that's too no. many. Too many. That's too many. Too I'm high. actually giving, I'm giving, like, hints here. That was too many. I need to see some hands. I got a hand back here. I'm going with the hand. Oh, a little higher than that, though. It's in between 40 Just and 46. A in between 40 How and 46. How many career sacks did Alex Brown have? A little lower than 43. 54. Ooh. Man. Raise your hands, please. Hand. Raise your hands. Yeah, I got number 5'5". Five, five. 45 Ooh. and a half. You know what? Between 40 and 43. We said between 40 and 43, and he said 45 and a half. And right here. Correct. 42. It is lower than that. 41. 41 over here. 41. 41. It is right. actually higher than that. It's higher than 41. It's higher than 41 right yeah, here. Yes, sir. 41.5. 41.5 is the correct answer. All right. right. But, 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 but. Name, you have to name the three that I'm behind. Name Richard Dent. Yes, that's one. You need two more to go. The Hall of Famers. Not all of them. No. Not all of them. Not all of them. No. Richard Dent and uh -huh, Hanson. Hanson. Do, do, and last one. Anybody going to help her out? Steve McMichael? That is correct. Steve wow. McMichael. And I bet you guys didn't know that. I got a lot of flack for not getting sacks, and I end up fourth. By the Bears way, he is, he is fourth you in know? Bears history, and all the four, three above him were yes, from the 85 that is Bears. correct. Great job. Great job. That is true. And, yeah, the 85 Bears beat me. Yeah, they whooped the me again. The 85 Bears. We're going to talk about that again. Love those guys. Hey, congratulations. Alex Brown Jersey, coming your way. Yeah. See, how you doing, See? I'm good, man. I'm good. Blessed. Uh, Thanks for coming out. Hey, I really yeah, appreciate sorry that. I'm late, man. I had a, I had a meeting with my chair. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, we want to hear a little more about, about your... Um, 
your charity. Please tell us. Uh, well, we have a Saturday school program that benefits third and fourth grade students that are performing below grade level. Um, basically, it's an extra day of school. Uh -huh. uh, we bus our kids from Cesar Chavez Elementary School and Brian Piccolo Elementary School in downtown, bus them to the British School of Chicago, and give them a full day of an extra day of education. We pay for the teachers, we pay for the busing, we pay for everything. That's terrific. We That's have a great job. We have students right now, and uh, we're knocking it out of the park right now. Is there so, a website that people can go to get that information? Yeah, RashidDavisCharities.org. We're uh, revamping the website pretty soon. We're, it, it, we'll, we'll have like a, a launch, a relaunch in hopefully early March. And that's Rashid Davis Charities on Twitter as well, right? Yes, R, R. Davis Charities. R. Davis Charities okay. on Twitter. And uh, at Rashid Davis. Oh, and, right. oh, excuse me, yourself, yes. Yeah. Rashid yeah. with an I-E-D. Yes. Not, Davis. not Rashid, but Rashid. <laughs> yeah. Tell me this, Rashid, what got you into to doing that type of um, charity work? Uh, just Rashid Davis Charities is basically an extension of the way I grew up, an extension of my life. You guys know me, you know mm -hmm. my my story and everything and uh, my wife and I wanted to do something to give back but we didn't want to be a cookie cutter organization that you know where most charities or most athletes or um, celebrity charities you know you raise money and you give it away mm -hmm. I didn't want to do that I actually wanted to I didn't want to be subject to anyone else's bylaws or anything I wanted to actually know where the money that I was raising the money that I was giving out of my bank account I wanted to know where it was going mm -hmm. so it took us two years to develop it uh, to get to this point that we're at now. We, we're in our second year. Um, we've been running since 2009. We had, like I said, 30 students, and our students are uh, knocking it out the park. I know they appreciate it, man. That's yeah, a great thing awesome. you're doing. Great job. Terrific. Yes, sir. And also um, a great job this year over there oh. with the Detroit Lions. <laughs> hey, you That's made the playoffs. You got you to you you got an extra check. Yeah, yeah, I got an extra check. You, you, you made briefly the made the playoffs, we briefly. <laughs> we, we're there for, uh, you know. Brief we, moment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> brief moment. We blew. But, you know, uh, that's how it goes sometimes. It's hard to right. beat the Saints at home. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you play Nobody there. did. Nobody uh, did this year, so. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we knew we had a tough job going in. Our defense, you know, played well in the first half, but we weren't able to keep it up. Uh, but we did have, you know, Calvin Johnson had a phenomenal Yes, he did. You do yes, have Calvin Megatron Johnson. Megatron is awesome. Golly, it's not always It's not always about the the game because we, we, went, we went to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And I think I remember about that was the actual ride of getting there. I remember yeah. the Minnesota game, the third game of the year, and how we needed a fumble. We get the fumble. Yeah. Rasheed catches the winning touchdown. Yeah. Like, I remember that stuff. I remember the ride to get there, not necessarily – the rain and all went on in the Super Bowl. I do remember it now because it's hard. It hurts my heart. But yeah. <laughs> the ride was awesome. Like beating Seattle. Yes. How happy were we when Robbie yeah. kicks that field goal? Like those are the things that you remember about, I think, about a season. And like there's a lot to go on with your season and not making a playoff since 99. Mm -hmm. So I think you guys did an awesome job. It's great. One thing to go back to where you're talking about the, with the Super Bowl run is the the one thing that I remember the most is how I felt after the game. And I can remember mm -hmm. immediately after we lost that game thinking no one's going to ever really know how hard it was to get here. Mm -hmm. You know, what it actually took for us to get here. Now, you can go back and watch the games, and but we know from an inside uh, perspective of – what it actually took us to get here. We had to stay healthy. We were blessed to stay mostly healthy throughout the year. Uh, most of our starters didn't get any serious injuries. We made played mostly every game. And just the balls that had to bounce our way. Arizona. Mm -hmm. you know oh, I mean? Arizona. The plays you guys Dallas. made on defense. We didn't score on Jeez. offense in Arizona. You know wow. what I mean? Like you guys in uh, on special teams killed it. The defense and special teams killed it. You didn't score on offense? No, I don't think that's nothing new for us. I mean, when I was playing, <laughs> that's what you're talking about. When, when, when Chicago against that. Oh, Chicago I thought you were talking about this year. No, with, uh, you're talking about Chicago Arizona. Oh, yeah, no, no, yeah. No, no, yeah. No, okay. No, oh, my gosh. No, we're not talking about Detroit. Yeah, that's that, what I thought you were talking did. about. Y'all score, score a we lot scored of points. All the time. There. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Just throw it up. 41 touchdowns. Just throw it up to Megatron. Over 5,000 yards. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's unbelievable. And no Pro Bowl. 
Hey, no, who who you Matt, did he get snubbed? He's a receiver, he and he snubbed, caught for the guy. Can't, but you can't. Is it a snub? If or should they just add another one? He got snubbed, but you you also have to look at it from a. Who are you gonna take out? A perspective because Eli, he outplayed Eli. Mm. He outplayed Eli. Eli had more fourth quarter touchdowns than anyone in the Cole history was, of the no, NFL. He had statistics, forty-one touchdowns. He threw for forty-one touchdowns. Well, you guys talking about five thousand yards? You're gonna want to see statistics. Only four people in the history of the NFL have thrown for over five thousand yards. Thank you. And three He's were this year. And, and three he, were this year. And he was one of them. I know. And he had forty-one touchdowns and only uh, sixteen. I mean, I like Eli. I, I think I, Eli I'm just did a asking. Great job. I mean, I'm throwing it out. No, no, I'm taking no, the argument. Oh, Jeez, <laughs> calm down. Calm down, bro. <laughs> now, hey, but what, what you don't know, Rasheed do. Rasheed a little crazy. Rasheed a little off. <laughs> Rasheed, Rasheed, I just, even, I just you know saw him this on the sidelines all the time. Rasheed, if you ever, if <laughs> well, you, you have never seen, off. you never seen a player go at a referee like Rasheed Davis Crazy. goes at a referee. He's not he will, he will yell at a referee from the beginning of the game <laughs> to the end of the game if they blow a call in the beginning, <laughs> and then he'll follow them to the referee locker room. <laughs> I no, wish but, I could. I you have to. to. You've never seen one person. Hate he follows, he follows the referees up and down the sideline. You have to be a little crazy to play where Rashid where Rashid played. Well, you yeah. got to be a little crazy. I'm not talking about Detroit, and I'm not talking about Chicago. You got to be a little crazy. You're talking about a special. Team. I'm talking no. about San Jose. Oh, oh, guys. I'm talking he about San Jose. Cali, Anybody name California. the football team from San Jose? Sabercats. The Sabercats. <laughs> the San Jose Arena, Sabercats. Arena, Arena, Arena football. football. Oh man. Uh, How long did you play there? Four years. And in his off time, he worked at Best Buy. <laughs> Not kidding. No, it's an unbelievable truth. story, man. I'm telling you, it is something crazy. Yeah. Like, he worked at Best Buy, and he comes, he takes a, hey. can you tell the story, well, please? I beat them a lot. Huh? I got oh, my gosh. first career interception against them. <laughs> Took it to the house, by the way. <laughs> against the rush? <laughs> against, against the, the rush. rush. Took mm. it to the house. Now, you got to you know, remember, you, you, correct me if I'm wrong, Rashid, you were a DB coming out. Well, that, I was going to get no. to that. Yeah, they, they, yeah. The, uh, evaluation, uh, talent evaluation was absolutely <laughs> wrong when they brought him into Chicago they brought as him a Chicago defensive to be back. A DB. Well, they put Hester was as a DB, too. Talent evaluation. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And I, and I they, told you this. I don't uh, I hope I can share this with everybody. Go ahead, man. <laughs> they moved Rasheed over to the offensive side of the ball towards the end of the year. <laughs> and I watched this guy do amazing things as a receiver, mm -hmm. running routes especially. Mm -hmm. I actually went to this dude, and I was like, I don't know who put you on the defensive <laughs> side of the ball. He was killing us. They because stupid. you were awful over there. He was killing us. Why did it take so long for you to become a, a wide receiver? Uh, because Did I not come, come and yes, tell you that? You You're not the only one, but Mike Brown... That year it was like, what are you doing over here? Why are you still mm -hmm. here? Like, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it, it, it took it took 15 games for them to recognize, uh, 14 games for them to recognize that you were a receiver and not a defensive back. I always joke and say I played defense long enough to show them that I was supposed to play receiver. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you know what? What what initially happened, I guess, was I wasn't doing any scout team on offense. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. Once, I, I think a few people went down, you know, so I needed to play scout team. So I went to scout team. And this is your first year, right? This is right. my first yeah. year. So that's when I started. I, I, and I really didn't practice that hard on offense because I was like, I'm not going to do everything. But when we played, when we got to the playoffs and we played Carolina, mm -hmm. I, I said to you guys and I said to myself, now I'm going to give you I'm gonna show you what Steve Smith is gonna do in this uh -huh. game, and you did, and I killed. Yeah, he, <laughs> killed and we were practice. and we were the number one defense in. The league. I killed it. And practice. he would kill us. And, and we were like, well, what is going on? Steve Smith had 200 some yards. But he didn't score. <laughs> he did score. Oh, no. Oh, he during, the during the he game. During the game. He scored in the playoffs. He scored in the playoffs. Okay. In the playoffs. In the playoffs. Yes, he did. No, no, no. He scored in the playoffs. I'm not talking about regular season. The regular, regular season, season okay. Killed. We killed him. Yeah, he destroyed us that but 05 playoff game. In the playoff game, game that's when I decided and, to play. But and you gave him a good look. Yeah, that's when. But you gave him a good look. He did. He showed them exactly what they were going to do to us, and they did it. Yeah. So you played for That's Chicago. They didn't bring you back this offseason. You went to Detroit. One-year contract. Uh huh. What's next for Rasheed Davis? I don't know, man. You know, this. I'm 32 now. You know. Um, oh too. man, you old. Well, you old. That's what they call me. me. I'm too. 10 years older than than uh, Titus Young. So put it in that perspective. You yes. know, I'm the old guy in the room. Really. So um, 
I don't know. You know, I'll play. I've always said I'll play as long as they keep paying me. So okay. Um, D- Detroit says they want to have me back. I wouldn't mind coming back to Chicago. Um, you know, I have a few other things that my agent and I have spoken about, other teams or whatever. But right now, I'm gonna take it day by day. You know, well, who they let you go for? I know that didn't work out too well. Wait, what? Who the Bears let you go for? Oh. That didn't work out too well. <laughs> yeah. If y'all don't, don't know, know who we're talking about, we're talking about Sam. Her. I don't know who makes those decisions. <laughs> we're talking about uh, Jerry. Oh, <laughs> well, he's decisions. no longer here anymore. So. Right. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> trade, <laughs> a, trade a high quality guy. <laughs> yeah. what? Are you? I, I don't know what he's doing. I'm not even gonna look. I'm not even gonna look. I'm nervous. I'm nervous to look at what this guy's doing. Trade a high quality over. guy like Rasheed, a, a good locker room. Uh, mm. Let me tell you something about Rasheed. We got a couple more minutes. I tell oh, you, here we R- go. R- Rasheed gets upset, and he was getting upset at you a little bit. <laughs> we used to play four square in the locker room. A grown man playing four square yeah. in the locker room. Yes. But don't have a disagreement. Don't let the ball get close to the line and Rasheed think it think it said hit the line. You he might have to fight him. Ab- about to fight people. You're going to have to fight him. Four square game. You're I kid you him. not. I am working on that, man. Are you kidding me? You're going to have to fight him. He would get him. so upset about those four square games. At a hundred, at a... <laughs> At 162 pounds, he would be five mad. He'd be so mad. I'm pretty strong, too. But anyway. I'm pretty strong. I'll tell you, some, some, some of the best arguments in the locker room came with this guy. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Somebody said I mean, I you got, you got to be that way. You have but, to be that way. You got to be competitive. And, I mean, you show that in everything. <laughs> Every, everything. everything. I, uh, yes. I you, don't know. I, I'm a different person, like they say. I'm a different person off the field than I am on the field. And when a, sometimes a, a switch clicks in my head, when there's competition known, I've been involved, known to argue at refs in <laughs> celebrity, a celebrity flag football games, and I'm just quarterbacking it. Oh, you're, you're, you're not you're not the only one that are arguing with a ref. What? In, in, I don't. In a flag uh, what? No. Game. In a flag football Me? game. Me? Oh. Are you in a flag football game? Are you smoking? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Where so, yeah. I did. I went. It was a charity flag football tournament, and I argued with the ref. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I've so. been accused hey, of that. question. NFL playoffs. I mean, you guys, obviously, you lost the Saints who went out and mm-hmm. then lost to the Niners. I got to ask you. Niners, Giants, you play both. Who, who you got? Uh, I got the – no, I got – I didn't play the Giants this year, but I got the Niners. Niners' defense is uh, lights out. They're pretty good. They held us to, what, 14 points or something like that? And then or? they try to beat up your coach after the game. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no comment. Or, or your coach tried to beat up their coach. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was no hilarious. Comment. No we comment. Off the head. <laughs> hey, <we're, laughs> so hey, you, you're picking the Niners at home? I'm picking the Niners at home. They're um, you? I mean, they've shown they they can score when they need to. They beat us on the last second drive or a last minute drive. They mm-hmm. they won and they beat the uh, Saints last week. That was an amazing game. Drive. So, drive, so. The question, speaking of, there was an amazing game last week, and then there was an non amazing game. Last week going into it, did you think that Tebow had any shot whatsoever? Somebody no. here did. Somebody here was like, "Yep, I sure did." I, I sure did. Tebow. Yes, he I like, did. And he and he went sure. one and three last week. Yep, I went one and but three. But it's a new to, week, baby. It is a new three. week, baby. Well, now we have to keep putting it in perspective. Thank he you. The biggest die-hard, die-hard, will die, hard, die hard, will die, yes, will die. Yes. You will die here. Gators. He will, he yes. probably will, will want to be kill buried over. in his floor. <laughs> yes. Kill t-shirt. over. Done. You wear that T-shirt yes. every day. That's right. He does. And that's why you so. went one and three. I went one and, and three. Went one and but three last this week. week. I know you didn't pick the 49ers. I did. Yes, he did. I picked, I picked him against Pittsburgh, too. And I bet you had that you face, did. too. So Alex went one and three. So on the season, Alex is uh, in uh, third place. Well, we're not last. We're in the NFC Championship game. Third and last. Third and last. I'm in third place. He's in third place. He is. I'm coming. Dez is in second place. You're last. Three ahead of Alex. Uh, question. And, and um, I'm in first. Who are you Four picking? ahead of Alex. Who are you picking this week? Oh, who am I picking this week? Which game are we talking about? Niners. 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 Got the Niners. I told you defense wins championships. The Niners defense is better. I'm, I'm, I still think that the secondary for uh, New York Giants is a little suspect. I believe that the t- you know Vernon Davis is going to have a great game. Going Niners. Oh, you, you want me to go? Wait, you want to wait the last? I, no, I mean, no, no, no. It wait, doesn't I, matter what I, Alex picks. Alex cannot beat me. I'll let you, I'll let you go, go last. I'll let no, you, can I go? Because you have these long explanations. Yes, I do. So and I'll, I'll let you go game. last. He's got a long one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Giants in this game. I, I, okay. I, I had a Giants. I think. You got the Giants. I have the Giants. I think this is a team just like in 07. They got hot at the right time. 
So I'm going with the Giants. I'm going to go back to 06 and say the last time a first-year coach took their team to the NFC Championship was Sean Payton. Oh, God. Sean Payton came up here after they beat the crap out of the Eagles in a really close game. I, I thought that that was it. Like, they ran out of steam, and then they ran into a real team. I'm going to go with the New York Giants because I think last week San Francisco – that was it. Like, they shot everything they had to win that game. Okay, the magic is over. All right. The New York Giants, and like Desmond said, they're going to get – they got hot at the right time, just like in 07. Yeah, I think they'll win. Okay. So, right. since you went last on that one, go first on the Patriots and the Ravens. Oh, I'm going first on this one. Patriots and the Ravens. Patriots on – well, I, I'm going with New England Patriots. They beat Tebow. If you can beat Tebow, well, oh, you can beat anybody. Oh, well, you can beat Tebow. Huh? If you beat Tebow, well, you can beat anybody, huh? huh? I guess the Kansas anybody, City Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl. disagree with this? The Kansas City Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl because if you can beat you can Tebow. You beat Tebow. Yeah. Hey, Tebow was on fire. <laughs> on Not fire. fire. What? No, on fire. Oh, their team. On fire. Their you got to lose the R-E in that. It's on fire. Their defense <laughs> is unbelievable. Come on, unbelievable? Ranked 24th? That's yeah, unbelievable. Ranked 24. You play with an 05 and 06 mean, defense. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Whose defense is unbelievable? Wait, wait, wait. What? Unbelievable. Well, I would say during, that, during, that, during the span that they won, they were playing lights out. During the span that they won six games in a row, they were playing lights out. Tebow wasn't doing nothing. They finished 24. He wasn't doing nothing. No, can, can, he wasn't. They were scoring 14 points. Can I just point uh, out that Alex he You really, guys were playing lights out when we went to the Super Bowl. We were scoring. If we scored understood, 11 points. Understood. But, I just want to point out when, when Tebow, when, when T, now see, we're on Tebow, Tebow again. And Tebow out the playoffs yeah, and we're on Tebow. Get off Tebow. But hold on. When he came I back think, in the fourth I quarter, the I do remember. <laughs> yeah, I, in the fourth quarter, I do remember that defense was on the sideline when Tebow was scoring. I just want to point out that Alex literally shoved me out of my chair. He shoved me too. He literally you shoved me. I literally fell out of my chair because he shoved me. So I just want to point that out. He's just jealous because I can pick better than he can. 112 pounds. That's why. <laughs> so can what? <laughs> so, all right. I think the Patriots. He's got the Patriots. Tez, Patriots or Ravens? As bad as I want to see Ray go and win another one, I just don't see this, this Patriots team being stopped offensively. And, and I, I don't think um, Joe Flacco has enough firepower to, to go and beat this team and outscore this team because the Patriots are going to put up points on this Ravens defense. I see this game being like a, a, a 28 to 17 game. I would totally agree. Look at that face. Totally agree. Totally. Look at that face. Totally agree. What do you, you got, know? Rasheed? Obviously, you're going to go the other way? Not going to have You got the Ravens, right? I say the Ravens win that game. I, that, awesome. That's an awful Super Bowl. Baltimore and the San Francisco is, 49ers. Not a Super Bowl. It's, it's a Harbowl. Who, who do you have? I got the Harbowl. The Harbaugh? I'm going with the Harbaugh. You I'm taking Harbaugh. John versus Jim in Indianapolis. It is the Harbaugh. If Jack Harbaugh was on the uh, radio this week. I'm going with that. I, I, I just I think that the Ravens have enough offensive weapons to go against the depleted secondary of the Ravens, or the, the Patriots, excuse me. I think Torrey Smith is going to get loose for a couple. And that's all that they're going to need. Yeah, I honestly believe... The Ravens' defense is enough to slow down the Patriots' offense enough. It's a good storyline. Yeah. Ed Reed is going to have it. a game. He's gonna it's going to be the hardball. That'll be, I mean, it'll be a good story, you know. He's so, going to ball. We'll and see. San Francisco, come on, man. The Giants didn't really get a whole lot of pressure last week till late in the game. Now, and, and, and the 49ers' offense, they're not going to drop back and throw it 700 times. You know what I mean? They're going to run the ball. They're going to keep yeah. it. It's going to be a controlled game. Mm -hmm. So... Show was very uncontrolled that last game, that now last four let, minutes of the game. Yeah, right? <laughs> now, if they sure. let Victor Cruz yes. go nuts, because uh, he's a monster. He's probably the most explosive wow. player in the game right the, now. Speaking of the explosive. Giants, you know, they, one of their wide receivers is a free agent. Mario Manningham is a free agent after the season. Uh, no. Uh -uh. You, you don't want him. Mm -mm. I'm just saying, he's oh a free my, agent. Oh, my, get a receiver. Can we get a receiver? Stop with Mario Manningham. We're bringing we'll, we'll bring Rasheed Davis Come on. back. I mean, Let's bring Rasheed Davis back. Can we bring Rasheed Davis back? Sounds good to If we're me. not going to bring him back to the Bears, can we bring him back to the show sometime later on? Y'all give it up for Rasheed Davis. Rasheed give it up for Rasheed Davis. Rasheed Davis. Davis. Rasheed Davis. Oh, Davis. It's uh, RD Charities on Twitter. RD Charities on Twitter. R. Yep. R. Davis. R. Davis. R. Davis. Or Rasheed Davis. Just straight up on, on Twitter. Follow him. He'll give you all the information mm -hmm. on his charities. Thanks for coming out, Rasheed. Thanks for having me.
Appreciate hey, it. Hey, thank you guys for coming out. It's been a great show. Thanks you for can watching. Anywhere I want to thank in the world tonight, but you was here with us. Thank you very much. We're over and out. And we're out of here. We're going to stick around. We're going to do some more more prize go for those people who are here uh, in the house. So, uh, and we will again. be signing. We're not going anywhere. One more we other thing. If you want to catch the show, go to DezClarkShow.com, Facebook.com slash DezClarkShow. Go there. You find out the locations. We, are, we do move around regularly, so next week we'll be at Austin's. Yes, yes we will. Up in Austin's up, up in on uh, Buckley. Yeah, come to Austin's. They, they, they have a up great setup up there. It'll be awesome. We'll see you guys be next awesome. week. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank you.